Hello PowerBot users, this is Invader Zim from PowerBot and I'll be teaching you how to make a simple Willow Power Chopper with animation detection. Okay, let me explain a few things about Eclipse first. Here are your imports which are needed to run this script. This will change depending on what type of script you make, but for this simple script all you need are these three imports. I'll paste the entire code and put a link in the description so you guys can look over that. So I'm just going to go over some basic things. These are your imports located near the top of your script. Okay, now your script manifest. You have to have this also. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, here is where you see the authors or author. Just put your nickname, whatever you want to be called by, some keywords, like kind of like a description, the name, any version. Oh, here's the description. <laughs> Power Chops Willows in this case. Public class. This is very important if you're trying to save your script, which I'll also go over. But really quickly, just name this whatever you like, and this is what also you're going to save your script as into your sources folder. Okay, here are your private integers, willow ID and hatchet ID. The willow ID is, well, the ID of the willows that you want to cut and hatchet you can name this anything you like oh yeah one note though you have to have the first letter of your ints um, uncapitalized and some letter in them that's not your first capitalized notice how the W and the H aren't capitalized but ID is try to match that format and if you're trying to create an array okay let me rephrase that Say you're trying to add multiple IDs, like with Willows, there's more than one ID, such as 5551, 5552, and so on, 5553. You don't want to make Willow 1, Willow 2, you don't want to make so many ints, in integers, whatever it is. <laughs> so you make something called an array. Notice how this is used to add just one ID, private int, the name of whatever you want to declare it as, equals the ID, then a semicolon. If you want to make an array though, private int, name, but you have to do the left and right box brackets, I'm not sure what they're called exactly. So these two are very, or actually they're needed to make an array. And then, instead of having nothing around your IDs, you have to have brackets around it. Make sure you have a left and a right bracket, separated with commas and spaces, and also ending with a colon. Here's something about Eclipse in case you guys don't use it yet. Notice how I deleted the semicolon which is required and instead of like coding a notepad the, the, the cool thing about Eclipse is this hover your mouse over it will tell you error, the error insert semicolon to complete class body whatever so you're like okay semicolon there that's done you may be wondering why there's an error right here that's simply because I named the class in JavaScripts and this is Ivy Willows but if you have an error like a, if it, you have an error on public class, like right here, don't worry about it, because you could na just name it something else. So if it's red right here, don't worry about it. All right, public boolean on start. A boolean can rather return true or false. And um, log will simply in the bottom of our spot, at, like under the RuneScape screen, there's this is where this text will appear. So when you start the script, this text will appear on the bottom under the RuneScape screen. Script started. What this does, mouse set speed. This, the default speed, with that, whether you set this or not, is 10. You can change this to make it multiple things. I wouldn't recommend going any lower than 7 and no higher than 12, because 12 would be too slow. The closer you get to 0, the faster. And then just return true. Closing bracket. If you ever remember, like I said, ever find an error, hover over the red or on the left closing bracket and there you are the error is fixed the loop this is where most of your code when you're beginning will go but later on you'll move into other methods as I'll describe in other videos this is my first time making a tutorial video so if you have any suggestions just leave a comment below or on the thread in PowerBot here's the logic of the script how it knows what to do and when so, if inventory is full, with the inventory, drop all except the ID of the hatchet. So, drop everything in your inventory except hatchet ID. 
you can uh, if you wanted to change it to drop other things just change the ID or just look, mess around with it else this means if that's not true so if the inventory is not full get my player animation if the okay this means the exclamation mark means does not so if my player if the animation of your player does not equal 867 which is the animation of wood cutting then you're declaring the RS object tree you can name this anything you like but you have to repeat it here here and here as Eclipse has highlighted it in gray and yellow so RS object tree objects get nearest so based off where you're standing it gets the nearest willow ID as declared up here so if you are not wood cutting and um, it gets the nearest willow ID and then if the tree is not null that means if there is a tree on screen with the tree it will do the action chop that has to be text specific such as that won't work with a lowercase c it has to be as said in RuneScape so chop and the sleep just adds a weight of um, half a minute that's in milliseconds 500 it's now 600 to 800 milliseconds and all these closing brackets are acquired because of how you're having opening brackets but just <laughs> you'll learn and I'm not even sure if I need this actually but I'll leave it there and then public void on finish this is when your script is stopped it will be logged yay I hope you you got lots of trees and so all of this will simply summarize if there's a willow on screen or any like if any of these IDs of willows are on screen it will click on it and once the animation of woodcutting is stopped it will search for new trees I'm going to stop this clip and um, record it in action for you guys and uh, I think that's pretty much it for the tutorial but um, just keep on watching let me uh, let me record the willow power chopper in action.